Hi everyone, my name is Amit in Bar. I've been uh, surfing, supping, longboarding, uh, foiling the wave of Chicama for the last uh, years. I've been foiling it for like four years now and I've been there like in total like 20 times. Uh, my last trip was in September and that was actually the first time I was winging it uh, and this experience just blew my mind like I've been riding this wave with uh, almost everything but with the wing is just ridiculous fun um, when I was supping and surfing or longboarding or foiling it I always use a boat accessory to go back to the peak as the wave can be up to a few kilometers long uh, I would say up to like four kilometers and with the wing we can pretty much do like five and a half which is insane um, and that pretty much brought me to 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 set up a new format of what I've been doing in in Peru in Chicama for the last years I've been running a surf and sub uh, camp coaching and uh, now with the wing I decided I want to give it a go and to set up for the first time uh, uh, wing wave riding uh, camp uh, in Chicama. Uh, the idea is that uh, the camp suits for people who are looking for the ultimate glide, people which are seeking for that beautiful glide when the wing is just flying in the wind. Um, I would say people which are looking for freestyle, jumping, big jumps, big airs. Uh, maybe that's not uh, the type uh, but if you're looking for that ultimate glide flying around using the energy of the ocean regardless to the wing uh, this is the place and once you're done with the wave you just one tack as the wind is offshore side offshore one tack you're pretty much back in the point uh, this bringing bring me to catching so many waves in one session and and the the glide and the flying time using the energy of the ocean is just crazy it can be up to like four minutes per ride and uh it's just insane really the conditions that are just too good um the came suits for people that are seeking for that feel and already have the ability to fly with the wing and have their own equipment uh, they can do a jibe and they can do a tack. Um, obviously, before signing up, uh, I'm always asking for uh, uh, self videos or any, any footage you have of yourself to send me just to see that the level suits for the conditions. Uh, many people ask me about uh, how dangerous is that it, as far as being washed in by the brake. So the whole beauty about the, this wave that we can ride it in the safe zone and even if you fall in, there's plenty of space uh, and plenty of time to recover and just go for, for, for the next wave. If you're looking to be more radical and to be, you know, to ride the wave more in the pocket, it's always an option, but then you gotta, you know, take the risk of being washed in and get the whole set on your head, which is not too bad by itself. But uh, if you're seeking for that safe ride, um, and just exploring the, 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 the energy, this is, this is it. Um, as far as conditions, the time that we're going, it's, I would say, like 90% swell uh, being uh, measured in the last uh, 10 years or so, so it's the right time. The wind is a thermic wind, so it's pretty much in the morning. It's very light, so we can use uh, other toys like surfing, longboarding, supping, whatever you feel like using. It's a magical thing to do as itself. And somewhere around 10, the wind is picking up, so we have like plenty of hours of daylight. My plan normally in those camps is doing two sessions, which, which I'm coaching on the ocean. And beside of me, there's the staff of crew that uh, I've coached and uh, two drive boats, two drivers for the boats. And uh, we use two different photographers, which are located on land. and. We get tons of videos and tons of media and this brings us to the theoretical session which has been done every evening 
uh, after dinner, a uh, video analyst, so we can, you know, see what's happening and what needs to be done better. And uh, using the boat on the, the water, it's always safety first. It's there for us to be safe. And uh, in case there's a big swell and, and people cannot leave the beach uh, being safe, so we upload everything on the boat and inflate the wings uh, in the open ocean so everything is safe and nobody needs to go through the beach break. Um, Boats are being used as well for towing in for people which are looking uh, to be towed into the wave. It's an option as well, especially when the wind is light in the morning. Um, we're set up in this beautiful boutique hotel right on the, on the point. It's a place, uh, for me, it's like home. I've been there so many times and the staff is amazing. The food is insane. Uh, there's really good recovery centers as far as jacuzzi, sauna, massage. So the whole day is pretty much around surfing, winging, foiling. Uh, what I love about it is that you can put, if you bring a few sizes, we can chuck it on the boat and uh, try new gear, a new setting of gears and, and in the same session. Uh, so you can pretty much get the perfect feeling of foiling that you're looking for. I think it's very, very um, easy to find with everything being up there for you right on the water. Um, the, the, the number of people entering the camp is up to 10, so it's a very small boutique kind of camp, um, not too many people, I wanted to be in control. Uh, we're surfing pretty much by ourselves, there's hardly any crowd, especially when we wing, we can be totally a little bit side of, of, of the surfing scene and, and still enjoy the wave, there's no need to be in the surf line. Um, I'm here for any questions. Sorry for that long monologue, but uh, I think it's better off like that. Um, yeah, if you have any question, you can contact me on private. And uh, dates are coming soon. It's going to be um, end of March 22. And maybe there's going to be a back-to-back -back camp straight afterwards, uh, end of March, uh, beginning of April. All right, guys. Aloha.